My name is Irina Mirov and I do chakra healing and channeling. I'd say for about 12 years, on and off, practicing a lot more for the last kind of eight years, eight, nine years. So I've always kind of worked with energies in different ways and I never quite knew what to do with it. Like I can sense them very much like in, in, in spaces, in places, um, in people. Sometimes I'm like, ooh, and I didn't really know what to do. So I met a lot of amazing people that helped me how to um, control and use this, this sort of sensitivity, I guess, to a way that um, is more productive. And one of my best friends had a chakra healing and she said, oh my God, I think you're really gonna like this. So I tried it and I met a lovely man called Martin Broffman. He has developed something called the body mirror system, which is the basis for the healing that I do, that has then been kind of developed and changed a little bit throughout the time. Um, so yeah, I guess that's how I got into it and I thought it's amazing because you can treat anything and it's very non-invasive and it's kind of deep and light at the same time. I started feeling the energies when I was quite young, I was about seven um, and it started as me kind of seeing shapes in the dark um, and so I was really scared of the dark for a long time. I used to sleep with my lights on until I was about 25. <laughs> really, I did. <laughs> but like I said, I couldn't really control it and I had no idea what to kind of do with it. It was just there, so I felt like it was quite invasive in my normal life. It was just kind of something we just got out there. And I was like, what are you doing? And I remember I went to see a lady that does a, a tarot reading and she was, um, she was also very much into Wicca and stuff. And she said, don't worry, you need to reclaim your space and your energy. And she's like, you're not at the mercy of them, of any energy. It's just like, you're in control of what you're open to and what you're close to. And I'm gonna help you out. And she really did. And then I met other people on the way that kind of really helped me to kind of go, yeah, this is me, this is my space, this is my energy. I think that everybody is a natural healer and I think that everybody is sensitive to all sorts of different energies. It's just that for some people it's easier than it is for others. I was, a, I was staying in one hostel and if, you, if you've been traveling to India, you know you have to sign in with your occupation, the name of your father, all these sort of things. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna put healer. So I put chakra healer on my, when I signed in. And the man who, was, who owned the hostel, basically something happened and I got this knock at the end, you know, in the evening on this one night. And there was this young guy outside my door and he said, oh, doctor, doctor, can you come? And I said, oh, no, 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 I'm not a doctor. And he's like, yeah, 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 you have to come, you have to come. There's like heart problems. And I was like, I am really not a doctor. But I came downstairs and the guy who owned the, the hostel, basically, he had been really stressed out. It was an older man and he was having heart palpitations. And he basically was like, go and get the chakra healer. She's going to fix me. So I was just like, I was a little bit overwhelmed with the situation, but I thought, you know, everything is here, you know, for a reason. So I kind of like just calmed him down and I worked with it and, and it was fine. And, and they were just like, yeah, that's totally cool. It was, it was just as natural as if I was a doctor. Do you know what I mean? Like there was no other doctors called. There was nothing else going on. There was a part of you that you actually really like the, it felt like you really like nature and you actually really like open spaces and calm spaces and this sort of thing. So security, safety, all those sort of things. And it's, you know, it tends to be the main chakra that kind of gets out of balance if you feel stressed okay. because you're not, you know, you don't feel like you have your feet on the ground. Yeah. How's that, Ollie? Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel? Yeah, very stress-free. Thank you. I'm not there to fix you. I am a vessel for, your, for you to heal yourself.